Hey, everybody. This is Dr. Eric Fields, the weight loss psychologist turned weight loss coach. So this is going to be a continuation of an episode that I did last week that has to do with using guilt as a barometer. When we're feeling guilty, it means we're not living in accordance to our core values and what we really expect for ourselves and what we really want out of life. So this is a very helpful strategy to ensure that you are not experiencing that awful emotion of guilt very often. A lot of times, just having done therapy for so long with so many different people and working with so many different clients, there are always new strategies that I have learned uh, through my work. And this is one that I find to be particularly helpful for my clients. And that is thinking about what your future self is going to say about your present behavior. Now, way too often, the future for us has such a negative connotation. Like many times, that's where worries are generated from, you know, this future thinking like, oh, what is going to happen in the future? Am I going to get that promotion? What if I don't? Um, I hope nothing bad happens to my kids. I hope nothing bad happens next week. I hope this future medical appointment goes well. I hope that uh, I have a good time with this upcoming party and that I don't feel out of place. I mean, there are so many worries about the future that we have that the future has gotten such a bad rap. And the past too. The present kind of is, you know, getting all the glory, so to speak. And the future and the past often just kind of are these two periods of time that we dread so much, right? And so what I want to propose here is that the future can be very positive in a couple of important ways. One, it can keep us on track with our goals. When we're about to engage in a binge episode, we need to ask ourselves, hey, what is future me going to say about this? Are they going to be happy with my behavior right now? Is my future me going to say like, hey, good job, Eric, you did really, really well consuming those 3000 calories when you totally weren't even hungry. Using the future me as a way of trying to keep on track with goals is very, very helpful. The other way that it can be really helpful is it can be looked upon as not something to dread, but something to look forward to. Like, wow, won't that be amazing in a month from now if I'm on track with my goals and I've lost 10 to 15 pounds? I mean, how great am I going to feel in a month from now? Like, I can't wait. Or even in a week from now, how great am I going to feel on Friday? Let's say that's your weigh-in day and I've lost a few pounds and I stuck to my plan and I'm just feeling great about myself. So don't use the future as this point of dread all the time. It can really be something that keeps us on track and gives us something to look forward to. I mean, at the end of the day, what is the point of even getting out of bed, right? Each day, like, why do we do it? Well, if we're in a healthy state of mind, one of the main motivators is because we're expecting some good stuff to happen that day in the future, later that day, or the next day, or the next week, or the next month. A lot of times we're so future oriented and this just is like a breeding ground for anxiety. And I mentioned this before, but the same kind of physiological arousal and experience 
happens with anxiety and excitement. The difference is how you interpret either one of those emotions, your cognitive appraisal, that's what we call it in psychology, of those emotions. So if you are interpreting in a negative way, you experience anxiety, like, oh, shoot, the future, I hope nothing bad happens. If you interpret it in a positive way, you actually will experience excitement. And I want you to be excited about the future because in the future, the future you is gonna be feeling great about all the progress and everything that you're doing today and how great that's gonna make the future you feel. So use this. And you know, another thing I wanna add about this is the future you and, and what you want in the future and the future and the present you, they are not mutually exclusive in terms of their wants all the time. Sometimes they definitely are. Like when present you says, I want to binge right now and future you is not going to be happy with that at all because that doesn't correspond with your true core values. But then there are times where both of them are on board. Like for example, let's say you've been doing really well with your weight loss plan and you generally wait to the weekend before you indulge a little bit but your friend calls you up on a Wednesday night during the week and wants you to have this impromptu dinner. And you say, you know what? I've been doing really well on my plan. Like I don't normally go out to eat and splurge on Wednesday night, but whatever, like I've been doing great. Sure, I can do that. And so present you is happy. And then future you is happy because it's like, yeah, you do you. Like that was fine. I'm not judging you. You were doing great all along. You want to indulge during the week, right? We don't have rules. We have guidelines. And, you know, you, uh, you made it, you called an audible, as we say in football. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's a beautiful thing when present you and future you are kind of, you know, synchronous, right? Or in sync. So use this as a strategy. Next time your gut is telling you, this is not going to be good, I'm sure. I want you to pay attention and ask yourself, what is future me going to say about this? And if you think future you is going to be okay with it, and maybe you genuinely think that, then this is a great test because when the future comes, you can ask future you, hey, was, were you okay with that? And if they say no, then you need to start reassessing your situation and your awareness of what you really want and need in that moment. This is Dr. Fields, the weight loss psychologist turn coach. I will have more to say about this as always at another time. And I wish all you guys the best success on your weight loss journey.